Ricky, we don't really do boring games. That that, that was far from it. It was it was a fantastic game, and it's really good to get the, come out on the right yeah. side of that result. Yeah, yeah, and I think there's um, there's the good and the bad there. Um, for all to see, I mean, it was a, a pretty horrible game of football, which we had to battle. So that was we showed a battle of qualities, absolutely no doubt. Mm -hmm. But you know, we, we, within the space, I think it, it felt it felt like one minute, but I think it was probably about five minutes that Marky missed his penalty. Marky's been spot on with him. You know, we can't criticise that at all. But then they got the park um, a clearance and the, and the boy nips in and um, and scores, um, and you're like, you know, you're scratching your head a little bit. And I just felt that. Those situations, I thought it was a harsh penalty, but the referee saw it, he's closer than me, like, okay, uh, I think the second and um, second and third goal, we need to defend it better, and I've said that to him, and I'm, uh, like, we're better than that. It's important that the boys know they're better than that, and we went through games and situations where it's a battle and it's a scrap and we have to defend the box, and we, we need to defend that well, and we defended the, the box really well, but we've got to do it every time. So that's talking about clearances and um, you know just basic, basic things to make our life a little bit more uh, easy. I felt panic set, set in a little bit in those moments. Cammy, for example, and I've spoke to him, so it's clearance. But I thought Cammy was brilliant. I thought he defended brilliantly. Like after that, you know, he really, really did. Um, so it's just those wee things. Sometimes they punish you, sometimes they don't. So, um, but obviously with the, the objective was to get through to the next round and we. We, we done that. I felt we, we thoroughly deserved it. Um, I thought we were, we were at it, and you know, first balls, second balls. I felt they had the, the lion's share in the first half, but the second half, I felt we we started to get closer to those those types of instances because it was a game. That was the game today. Wet, windy, you know, proper Scottish football game, and um, we got ourselves through. As you say, it's quite a scrappy first half that maybe suited yeah. Bonus because I felt like once we started the second half, we looked the better football team, we got the ball yeah. down the deck a wee bit more yeah. and caused yeah. them real we did. problems. We, did. we said that at half time, look, just let's get it forward with good quality, and if we can, we obviously changed it after 10 minutes to a two, and that was kind of part of my plan, depending on how the game was going to go. I thought that worked really well, I thought Mark and Jamie done really well up front. I thought Ross really worked hard first half, but we were too isolated from him. Um, we couldn't get on the second balls, we, we, we struggled to get the ball up to them with good quality, so we changed it. Um, it was 10, 12 minutes after half time. Um, but I felt like the second half we were better. I don't think there was much in it. I mean, if you're looking at chances for them, I think we limited them to maybe four, five chances, maybe. And they seemed to, to score the ones that they got. So so that's where we're at now. But, but the biggest difference for last week is we won the game. We took our chances because between the two performances, it was a different performance, which I felt we were unlucky in stages of the game, not to have more goals. And to concede as many, we still had to defend better in individual moments. And I felt today, over a piece, we've done that, uh, which is important to take into Wednesday night. Yeah. Obviously, we, we went 2-1 two, two up, had the penalty, missed that, and then within the space of about five minutes, the game was turned on its head again. Yeah. It was an incredible finish, in fairness, to the yeah. point for the, the yeah. third goal. Yeah. How impressed were you with the response after that? Yeah, I think um, I think with the third goal, we've got, like, we're now pushing to get those wee bits better. Right, listen, you lose goals like that, but that's a, that's a counter-attack situation. I think it was if Bruni's cross came down, ball gets played through and that's what a, a, a striker you know on his toes it does and, he, he, and it's a brilliant finish but I think we can make contact with the player we can not foul him but just contact initially and see where he is so I need to watch it again um, but um, to answer your, your, your question I think was um, a huge moment that nah, huge moment so the question is how do you come back to that you know how do you get back to what you're doing how do you come back from that in a positive manner put my hands up and say they, they absolutely done that and they kept believing and we got that goal great ball across the face of the goal and a good finish so um, happy to get get back in the game obviously and I felt if we could uh, and then get noses in front I didn't think we were going to lose it and it proved, proved to be the case I'd imagine there's pretty positive spirits in that dressing room after an excellent comeback win. Yeah. Um, looking ahead to, to Wednesday night against Hearts, um, we had a really exciting game early, yeah, was, early on in the football. season. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, so are you it expecting is. similar with. Probably. I mean, I don't know if we do dull games, to be honest with you, but 
Um, I think going back to Trinent, similar type of game, but we won that today. Trinent, those games kind of go either way. Spartans have felt we let ourselves down in, in our box, and like I said, today we were on it. But that gives us a bit of momentum going into Wednesday. It was so important to win today. So important to win. It really was. And I just wanted winners. And I was being at them all week and demanding more. And, um, and I think they knew my, my disappointment in them. Um, and they responded really, really well. Wednesday's going to be tough. Um, poor pitch, I believe. But, you know, it doesn't, you know, we just go at it. And we, we, we commit ourselves. We, we battle and we scratch. We, we must do that well all the time for us to get that intensity. Um, and we play at our best when we have that intensity. So let's hope um, going into Wednesday we've got a full squad to pick from and going into that um, in a positive mind frame from today's as, as obviously what we wanted. Yeah. All right. Brilliant, Ricky. Yeah. All right. Well done, Cheers, yeah. guys. Thank you, mate. Oh.